Part five of the how to save the high street camera store. Uh, this is actually more of a reply back to David Gill. We left a comment on one of the very first videos I did about this. Uh, asking, uh, he said, uh, what about your followers? What is about, uh, what about you? I've seen you buy secondhand as well. So he's asking, uh, you know, is it really actually price that's the big thing? Or, you know, I'm trying to, just now I'm talking about more diversifying your service so that you're not just a camera sales, but you're actually more a photographic uh, service. And, uh, but here, here's my, my point of view, is that for me, secondhand gear is, is, is really worth its weight in, uh, in, in the money that it costs, or whatever it is. A lot of my gear I've bought has been secondhand. I've bought stuff from a guy in a car, a guy in a car park, and another guy on the street. Um, and I've never had any troubles with the gear which I've bought there. Granted, I have no warranty, I have no, no kind of uh, returns policy or anything like that. But uh, at the same time, I've been there, able to test it, touch it, feel it, use it, and check its its quality. And it's always been uh, absolutely fine. What I would say is with a camera shop as well is that if you are uh, the, the difficulty for a camera shop to offer secondhand gear is the additional cost. If your shop currently makes more than, I think, £70,000 in the UK, you have to pay VAT, V-A-T, which is 20%. Ugh. So if a camera shop, if you've got, let's say you've got a Nikon 70 to 200mm lens, you want to get £1,000 for that, you go, I can I have that for £1,000? They will instantly have to say, I can only offer you 800 and was eight hundred and twenty pounds? Because then the twenty percent that they need to pay for the VAT would take up to a thousand, and then for the shop to make any money from that, they would have to charge more than that. So what effectively the seller or the the person that owned the lens only gets eight hundred and twenty pounds. The camera shop would have to sell for one thousand and fifty pounds, and would only make a fifty pound uh, fifty pound fee or a £50 profit, so there's a major, like, that's like, whoa, hold on, that's already £200 more expensive than if I just bought it from the guy on the street. Now, this is where I think there is a way around this. So again, this is diversifying the camera shop, so instead of being a camera shop that sells second-hand gear, you could say you're a camera shop that advertises other people's second-hand gear and you're really there just for the money transfer so instead of the shop actually physically buying it itself they'll say right uh, you pay me 50 quid I'll put it in the store window if somebody wants to buy it I'll give them your phone number or we can uh, take the money from them and sell it to you afterwards but effectively they're not having to spend 50 pounds and also at the same time they're not taking a thousand pounds worth of profit but instead just 50 quid so that's where I think being a middleman you don't have to pay the, the huge VAT cost for buying the whole product and selling the whole product and effectively the, the, the added value that you get once you sell it as a more expensive item, again it's just more expensive, but selling it or just being the advertiser for it I think is definitely a way to, to get around it. But I'm not 100% sure on that but it's just an idea uh, that I'd say. So uh, in terms for David Jet, yeah, a lot of stuff I've bought has been second hand, it's been used, especially with camera lenses. As long as the previous person has owned them and they haven't been scratched to hell or they don't have any dents in them, they are as good as new. There, there's at no I there is no point at any time anyone will ever say that photo was taken with a secondhand lens. Never going to happen. Maybe nowadays some people might be able to say that photo was obviously taken with a fairly crap camera. Was it a point and shoot or was it an iPhone? But at the same time, no one's going to be able to go, oh, that was definitely a D3, not a D4. Ah, oh, so obvious. So, in terms, of, in terms of lenses, you can't go wrong if it looks good. Uh, what you can go wrong, certainly, sometimes is the newer lenses with their VR, with their internal motors and all that kind of stuff. There can be issues there. If you go back to the old school lenses where it is just manual, oh, manual yumminess, then if it looks good, is pretty much as good as new. So if you're getting it for like 30% off, that you, you've effectively just bought a high quality item for 30% less than what it actually would normally be. With camera gear, you do have 
bits wearing out and and getting overused and oil spots and stuff like that but generally if it's within two years or so you've really got like, it's, certainly if you go for the higher end stuff it's more the lower end stuff which generally may have been a uh, misused a bit more what actually one of the biggest things i'd claim is more dangerous is for an item which has been used a little bit then not used for a long time and then sold the if, if you for example if you were to buy a camera off somebody who is an event photographer every day going out to horse races taking photos of the horses next day going out to a high school ball taking pictures of all the students next day going somewhere else and it, it, within a year it'll have done three thousand photos but that's intensive use and that is repeat regular use if he had done that for three months and then for nine months afterwards it's just been sitting in the corner doing nothing i would be a little bit more worried about the gears the knobs the oily bits the the moving bits all of a sudden just kind of getting a little bit crap from a, a stagnant camera rather than a well-used camera so th think about that whenever you're buying your own stuff but that, that'd be just my little tip uh, it, for camera stores if you are going to go down the second hand route or the X rental route try and think of it as you are uh, well maybe not the X rental because the X rental would have been stuff that you own already but think about more if you're doing X uh, second hand stuff you're not necessarily buying the gear off the person but you provide a, a source for them to advertise it through your shop window and for people to come along and play and use it just another idea